Soak it in. A night in which you will see things you've never seen before on a stage you had never seen before. The Glory Kickboxing Ring side by side with the Bellator Cage. King Mo has advanced to the finals of the light heavyweight tournament. He will face the winner of this one, including the much anticipated Bellator debut of the man on your left, Mr. Wonderful. Phil Davis as blue as blue chip gets. Outstanding top 10 light heavyweight as we're coming out from tonight. Emmanuel Newton is one of the strangest, most unorthodox fighters you will see. He looks beatable, but yet thrives as an underdog. Yeah, completely. He lures you into that kind of false sense of security oh, and he's spitting ready. back fists to you to fight. sleep. That's his strategy. The touch of the gloves, the second semi is underway. The fight clock brought to you by Miller Lite, the original Pilsner Cheers. It's Miller time. The winner faces King Mo for the light heavyweight tournament final. The problem here is it can take a while to figure out Emmanuel Newton. No one's looked good against him. Phil Davis with two rounds doesn't have time to do that. Two fighters, it is very hard to hit. Both have kind of a herky-jerky sort of style, very unorthodox. Phil Davis has never been stopped in 16 fights, many of them obviously at the UFC level. Has been in with the top light heavyweights in the world. Considered by many the favorite in this tournament. But the rules, which we talked about during the King Mo Linton Bissell fight, changed the dynamic. Both guys using the lead foot. Both guys moving a lot. Both guys trying to check range with their hands. Manuel Newton said he was destined to lose the light heavyweight title. His spirit wasn't right. He watched the tape back. He didn't even recognize himself in that fight. He has rededicated himself. He's trained harder. There's that spinning back fist, which has recorded some of the most spectacular knockouts in Bellator history. If you look back, that was a close fight. That was a fight he almost won. Very close decision. That's where he doesn't want to be, in the grasp of Phil Davis. Four years at Penn State, four-time All-American national champion. Now one hook in, he's already going for the rear naked. To the right arm is planted right near the jaw. As soon as his hips are in good position, he's going to try and slide it up. But right now, going with the wrestling ride. For the fun of it, after winning the national championship a year later, he became Nogi World Jiu-Jitsu Champion. Nice takedown right into side control. Yeah, download the free Spike app with full episodes of your favorite shows anywhere, anytime, for free. Now available on the App Store and Google Play. Lock up the Kimura. Linton Vassell had some success with this submission last time when he fought Amanda Newton but couldn't finish it. Now he's in good position now. He moves so smoothly with those hips. And that's what Emmanuel Newton is known for. Those last second escapes explodes right at the right time. How many times did Linton Vassell have him within an inch of defeat and the world title? You can only say it so many times, that was a five-round fight. Emmanuel Newton cannot afford to give up a round escaping submissions. Especially against Phil Davis. You can get on, if Phil Davis gets up a round, and then he gets on top of you early in round two. Done. You, kind of, you kind of finished my thought there. It was pretty yeah, Totally, cool. totally. <laughs> That's what I'm here for, buddy. Try to roll out of that. Now, he won't panic in this situation. I can't envision a scenario in which Emmanuel Newton panics about anything. He has not been stopped since 2009. He hasn't been submitted since 2009. Okay, hunting for some front choke opportunities. Has great front chokes, anacondas, guillotines. What Emmanuel can't do is sit here in this position. Nice job getting back to his feet, but Phil Davis not letting him off the hook. There it is. The difference in high-level wrestling, national champions, All-Americans, is that second effort. They lock you up, and they go for the trip. If you get out of the trip, they switch to something else. It's not just one and done.
Well, over to Shara being talked about for a world title shot in the UFC. He was dominated by Phil Davis. Yep. Crushing top control, long arms, which makes it easy to hunt for submissions like this. Man, he's going hard for that Kimura. Emmanuel Newton trying to get the legs free so he can sweep out of it. He's in huge trouble, it. and it's over. A visceral, efficient, effective, and dominant Bellator debut for Mr. Wonderful Phil Davis. When you think of how many times Emmanuel Newton has been in submission trouble in his Bellator career, and he is submitted in the first round by Phil Davis, that's the kind of debut you want. It's been over six years since Emmanuel Newton was stopped in a fight. Phil Davis stops him in round one. Let's check out the Black Card Premium Spice Rum Replay, the bold 93 proof rum that's edgy to the core. Look at this commitment to the Kimura, and look at him lock down the legs of Emmanuel Newton, traps them with his legs so that Emmanuel Newton can't roll out of it. It keeps his hips right in the right position. That's what did it, neutralizing the hips, neutralizing the mobility of Emmanuel Newton. That's how you finish a Kimura effectively. Great job by Phil Davis. And if he held out as long as he could, that fist all the way up behind the neck, a little more and the shoulder pops. Phil Davis didn't know what to expect. You know it has to be a weight off his shoulders, except tonight he's got another fight to fight. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage at four minutes, 39 seconds into round number one. The tap comes by way of a Kimura advancing by submission now to the tournament championship, Phil, Mr. Wonderful David. Now moves to the four man one night light heavyweight tournament championship set for three five minute rounds is brought to you by Blackheart premium spiced rum seduction in a bottle the official rum of Bellator MMA and now first introducing the blue corner at six foot two weighing in 205.8 pounds successful tonight in his Bellator debut as a professional he now stands at 14 and three he fights out of San Diego California introducing Phil Mr. Wonderful Davis And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner at six foot three. He weighed in 205 pounds even as the professional now. 24 wins with 10 defeats from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Introducing Francis Limitless Parmon. And the referee in charge of the contest is Jason Herzog. There is a reason you have an alternate fight. What do you talk about with the tournament? Variables. Who gets hurt? Who has energy? Who drops out? Who goes in? That's what we're seeing in the finals. Variables. On the line, a light heavyweight title fight against the winner of the main event tonight, Tito Ortiz and Liam McGeary. Up, buddy, ready? Phil Davis buddy, never ready? got fight. that title shot in the UFC. He can earn it in the Bellator cage right now. The fight clock brought to you by Miller Lite, the original Pilsner Cheers. It's Miller time. To the last, I will grapple with the great wrestler, great submission fighter in there. It's a matter of who gets position, who has the right timing, who seizes the opportunity. Both guys very dangerous on the ground. Is there a difference in wrestling styles between someone who is in Europe and learned and trained in Europe and an All-American? Yeah, yeah, very true. I mean, the, the typical, typical quote-unquote American wrestler, a blast style of takedown. You look guys like Brandon Slade, Jordan Burroughs, guys who've been successful on the international scene. They have a very physically dynamic style. Guys in Europe tend to scramble a little bit more. Also remember, come on. Western Europe, not known for great wrestling. Great wrestlers generally come out of Eastern Europe. He has to work on his takedown tonight, for sure, and his defense. This will be reported, and I'm sure Twitter's going crazy as we speak, but this was a very late decision. 
King Mo was cleared earlier, immediately after his fight. This was a late decision, so then the decision to check on Linton Vassell to see if he could go, that came very late. Right. He might not have had a lot of warm-up time. I always say hope for the best, you prepare for the worst. Carmon knew this could happen. Bill Davis' fight about two and a half hours ago. Carmon's was over five hours ago. Is there any difference there? A big time. That's when the damage, any fatigue, really starts setting in after about a half hour, an hour. That's when it really gets to you. I would say advantage Phil Davis. Phil Davis was the favorite going into this tournament. You can only imagine now. Imagine the roller coaster of emotions for Phil Davis when his Bellator debut was as dominant, as impressive as it was if things don't go his way here. Jason Dolezal giving the extra time, but it was never in doubt. Wow! The blue chip free agent, Phil Davis, is dominant. Monstrous impact in his debut, and he is next in line for a shot. He'll finally get that shot at the light heavyweight world title. Phil Davis, a dominant, dominant performance on the ground in the first round, and a dominant performance on the feet in the second round, this guy is dangerous everywhere. We check out the block card, premium spice rum replay, the bold 93 proof rum that's edgy to the core, which Phil Davis was tonight twice. Look at the combo, beautiful left hand right on the chin. Carmaz hand up trying to defend himself, but he is out. You see when the right hand came down, it's glued to the head on the ground. That was that delay we saw with Jason Herzog. Looks like he's intelligently defending the hand drops. That's when Jason jumps in. Good stoppage, Phil Davis, all over Carmel. Look at that leaping left hand. A little homage to the guys like Roy Jones Jr., that leaping left right on the chin. Forget being a grappler tonight. Phil Davis, a complete mixed martial artist, beautiful shot. The book on Phil Davis is that he's very hard to hit. He also hits very hard. Great combination to have. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage referee, Jason Herzog, steps in, waves off the contest, official time. Two minutes, 15 seconds into round number one, the winner by knockout, and now, the light heavyweight tournament champion, Phil, Mr. Wonderful Davis.